What's going on? What's happening? Hey, Jeff here. Another stock market, crypto market, end of day review. See what's cooking, what's not cooking. We're going to look at a bunch of stuff. See if we can find any opportunities at the end of the day to make some money. Uh, Y'all know that I uh, day trade the S&P 500. I swing trade options and I trade crypto and invest in crypto. So we got lots to look at. It's 2.30 Central Standard Time. Let's get to work. All right, so let's start off with the S&P 500. Right now, the S&P 500 is down 18 points. Not bad. It was down a lot more earlier. You can see here, kind of looking at this chart, this is the chart that I used to uh, day trade. At one time, it was down. It was down over 30-something. Okay. It was quite a bit, so it was taking a beating. Thinking, What's up, Andy? <laughs> What's going on, Andy? Yeah, it was taking a beating earlier, but we did good. We made um, 20 points today. Day trading the S&P 500, so that's good. Market's down 19, right? But I do like that we are uptrending. Just pausing today. Just pausing today. But interesting, taking a look at Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin is down 2.13%. 67,000. We got up here to that 69,000 mark. And as you can see right now, just pulling back, nasty, bearish, engulfing candle. But, you know, as long as we hold this 66,600, we should be in good shape. We are testing this uh, old resistance to become a new support area. So we might just top around in here for a while. But um, it is down. It is down. Uh, let's kind of go up here and just take a look at uh, what's what's cooking. I like to look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is popping up today. NVIDIA is uh, 3.20%. That's good. Breaking to an all-time high. Okay, that's super good. We want to see that. NVIDIA, you know, I look at NVIDIA. I trade NVIDIA stock, but I watch it because it's a really good indication of the crypto market. It's a technology, right? It's in the technology sector, risk on. So I like to see how NVIDIA is doing. But not just that. I like to trade NVIDIA and make money. What's happening, Marky Mark? What's going on, brother? Yeah, it's up today, though. Take a look at uh, Ethereum. Ethereum's down. 2,672. Now, this is against the U.S. dollar. In a minute, I'm going to show you my swing trading crypto pairs. Right. And what I'm looking at, you know, because again, there's two things. You can invest in crypto short term or you can trade. So I like to trade pairs against pair as a way to accumulate. You know, when the market's not doing nothing, you know, and like in this case, we're just kind of chopping around. When it's not doing nothing, one of the things to do is you can just go trade the coins against the other coins. Right. For example, I watch this pair really heavily. What's up, Rafa? Ethereum versus Bitcoin. We are in a squeeze, building up energy, right? It's one of the main patterns that I look at. You can see we had this nice, beautiful uptrend. We're consolidating under the high. Okay, you might go like this. You could go like that. Just coiling up. This bad boy is about to explode. So we might have some opportunities here pretty soon to trade Ethereum against Bitcoin. I like doing that as a way to accumulate both Ethereum and Bitcoin without having to spend any money. Because here against the U.S. dollar, if I go buy Ethereum, then I got to come up with some more money. But if I want some more Ethereum, then I can just trade this chart. So either way. Let's see here. The dollar's up. The dollar's been really, really strong. The U.S. dollar, 0.49% right now. It's cooking, man. We had that nice reversal down here, that squeeze fired. That's one of the things that I like to look for. When you go in a squeeze down trending, these moving averages can cross. That's a really good sign of a reversal. Big time. Big time. So dollars up. Gold. Gold's up right now. I mean, not much. Flat. But we did break to another all-time high 
Friday. We broke to an awesome high Friday. It's up 2.3. So gold's looking really strong. So two things. I'm looking at the stock market. We're going to dissect the crypto market. I'm going to look at these pairs right here, like Algorand, and Bitcoin, things like that. Also on this other screen here, I'm looking for opportunities. In this area, this is my watch list. I'm always looking to put on trades at the end of the day. S&P's down 20. So if I can get a, an entry, I'm going to take that trade. All right? You got Wando. What's up, brother? Hey, Jason. We are looking at these earlier today. So if we get opportunities at the end of the day, we take the trade. We take the trade. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm just going through my afternoon review looking for opportunities to make money, wherever that opportunity comes. Okay, so the NASDAQ 100 is down today. You know, just looking at the indexes, all of the indexes are down today, at least right now. We got about 20 minutes to go, but I do like that we've been, you know, trending nicely to the upside, these stacked moving averages. We are going inside a squeeze, but we got to break this high. 20,788, we need the NASDAQ 100, which is a technology index to pop, right? The Dow Jones, which we'll get to in a minute, but you're going to see, like, for example, the S&P, we already popped. We started off with that. It's down 21, but we already broke to an all-time high. This NASDAQ is lagging. We want to see the NASDAQ pop. Not doing it yet. But anyway, S&P, and again, we're going to come back to XRP and all that stuff. US 30, which is the Dow Jones 30. Again, look at this. Beautiful trend to the upside. Just cooking. Last time we had some opportunities were here, right? That squeeze here. Bam. So if you trade the Dow Jones 30, right, industrial average, you don't want to enter right here. You don't have an advantage. But you got a beautiful trend. Beautiful trend. It's down three. <laughs> now it's getting whooped. It's down 384 right now. So indexes are getting pounded. Oh, God damn me. Fucking Russell 2000. Russell 2000 getting pounded today. 38 points. Again, we're still just basing underneath that all-time high. Not doing much. We are inside a squeeze. We are trending, though. All right? Nice uptrend. Coming in as buy zone, a squeeze. Again, I'm not trading RTY. You know, if you want to trade, you can trade the ETF IWM. That's the Russell 2000 ETF. You can trade that. <clears throat> I look at that all the time. I day trade the ES, but I always watch the Russell, right? Russell 2000. We want to see this pop to a high. That's what we want. Yeah, Mike, you're right. And the reason why it's the small caps, when things are going well, you want to see the small caps lead. And, you know, we just need it. Bitcoin has not broke to an all-time high and sustained it without the participation of this Russell 2000. So we got to see this pick up, right? Got to see it pick up. Let's take a look at Coinbase. So again, all the indexes are down. But look, Coinbase had a nice, strong day on Friday. Now, Coinbase has earnings coming up pretty soon. Look at that. Coinbase experienced a gain of 24.85% last week. So Coinbase had a big week. Nice, strong up move. That squeeze fired. A lot of y'all trade the squeeze. I get questions all the time. Can you trade crypto utilizing the squeeze? Absolutely. You better believe it. That is your advantage. And you can see visually on the chart when you have an opportunity. Coinbase down today. Now, when it comes to stocks, I like to sell naked puts, synthetic options, stuff like that, but that's way beyond the scope of this. 
All right, so there we go there. Let's get into some crypto market. And again, then I want to kind of look at some of these pairs, see what's going on. Again, I like to trade crypto and I like to trade you know, pair against pair as a way to accumulate more crypto since it's not doing nothing. Look at Tron. All right, Tron's up today a little bit, 1.21%. I like Tron. I got a lot of Tron. Kind of sitting right there, right? We're going into a black squeeze, you know, just trending along. You know, these stacked moving averages to the upside. Tron has been doing really good. You know, next stop, 1641. Doge is up a little bit. Now, Doge is at a key level, right? It's like Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin hit that key level, pull back. Doge is doing the same thing. I would love to see Doge pop out of this. Look, J July 21st, so like several months ago, several months ago, we shot up to, you know, 14 plus cents, almost at 14.5. Actually, we shot up to 15 cents today. Now it's pulling back, but this is beautiful. So do you want to buy Dogecoin against the U.S. dollar right now? No. Not a chance. Market's down 20. No way. You have no advantage, right? You you enter when you're in the squeeze. Now, you can take the breakout. You can take the breakout. But, you know, your advantage really is take that squeeze and get in there. But Dogecoin's up. XRP. Now, it's interesting. XRP's down not much it's 54 cents down 0.27 percent but look at it just been chopping around but take a look at this we go over here today xrp against bitcoin so xrp is outperforming bitcoin and ethereum today what i do like about it and again this is trading xrp against bitcoin so if I got XRP and I want to get more Bitcoin, then what you want to do is you want to buy Bitcoin when it's cheap against XRP. And I know, <clears throat> Jason, and again, I get it. I get questions all the time, right? You can buy against the US dollar. Yeah, no problem. But if you've got a lot of crypto and right now you're like, I don't really want to buy. This is what you got to do. Right, you can trade the pairs. So, for example, XRP against Bitcoin. And again, I'm just kind of looking at the market as well. We got about, you know, 17 minutes. Silver's up, oil's up. Not seeing any opportunities yet, but indexes are getting. I'm not going to say destroyed. Russell 2000 is getting whooped, though. But right here, for example. So, we are trending to the upside. That's telling me XRP is gaining strength against Bitcoin. So if I want to accumulate more Bitcoin, let's say I don't really care too much for XRP or I really, you know, I don't really have a bias either way. Then what you want to do is as this pair is going up, XRP is gaining strength. And then eventually it's going to hit a point to where it rolls over. And that means, you know, at that point, Bitcoin is cheap against XRP. So that's where you can turn around and sell your XRP for Bitcoin because you can get more Bitcoin. Right? When it's down here, for example, XRP is cheap against Bitcoin. So if you want to buy XRP, but you don't want to go buy it against the dollar and you got some Bitcoin down here, you can swap Bitcoin for XRP because XRP is cheap. And then as this goes up, XRP is gaining strength and you keep swapping it out, right? It's a way for you to accumulate more because for example, you don't want, when it's way up here, you don't want to, buy more XRP with Bitcoin, you want to do it when it's down here. I'm not going to go into detail, but again, I this is my swing trading crypto pair, 
or pairs up, right? Solana against Ethereum. So right now, Solana, look at that. So this is important to me because I own Solana and I'm trying to get more Ethereum. So you can see this green dot. The squeeze is firing. There's that burst of momentum like here, right? So Solana is gaining strength. So what I want to do is let this bad boy run up. Solana will be way strong against Ethereum. Then I can sell my Solana to buy more Ethereum. Because Ethereum is cheap, right? You buy when it's cheap. And then it comes back down and you just do the same thing. But I love it, love it, love it. And since that squeeze is firing, let that momentum go up. And then when it starts to peter off, I will be, and I'll, if I'm doing it, I might do it live too. I don't know. If I happen to be on air, I will do it. Because I'm going to sell my Solana for Ethereum. Because Ethereum is cheap. But I like that. You can see right here, Solana, it's down today. So if I was trading it against the dollar, it's it's down. Right, you would say, oh, damn, man, Solana sucks. I mean, it had a big day Friday. But you take a look at it against Ethereum, you don't have to trade it against the dollar, man. But you got to know what you're doing. You got You don't want to just randomly look. Solana, squeeze fired, it's taken off. So I know Solana has got some power behind it. So whenever Solana runs out of steam, I'll swap it out and get more Ethereum. It's looking good. XLM's down today. Cardano. God damn it. Cardano. Cardano's not doing nothing. 35 cents. Chainlink down. EOS down. We already saw Bitcoin and Ethereum by itself, right? Both of them are down today. Shiba. <laughs> Polygon getting killed. Algorand. Like everything's pretty much down just against the dollar, except Tron and Doge, at least on my watch list. Ondo's down the most. Ondo's getting pounded. Fucking pounded. These big old nasty candles, man. We had a nice run up the other day. Everything was looking good. Sunday, right? Everything was looking good. I guess they didn't like the outcome last night for the Sunday night football. Or maybe they didn't want the Dodgers to win. I don't know. Fuck, it's ugly. Litecoin down, polka dot, H bar, mana. Everything is looking sick. But if you flip it over here, you got some green, right? So you feel more excited. Solana against Bitcoin. Look at that. So Solana against, if I'm trying to get more Bitcoin, then I do the same thing, right? As Solana pops up in here, it starts to run out of juice, I swap it for Bitcoin. Usually what I'm doing is I'm going to look at this uh, right here, this Ethereum Bitcoin pair, see who's dominant, right? And try to gain more. So if this goes down, that means Ethereum is losing losing value against Bitcoin. Right? Bitcoin's becoming you know, more expensive. Or, well, not more expensive, but better than Ethereum. And then, so I want to have more Bitcoin because with Dick, a Bitcoin is, is strength against Ethereum. And then when we kind of hit a bottom, when we start to go back up and Ethereum starts picking up steam, then I want more Ethereum. So I got to go figure out how I can get some more Ethereum by selling other pairs, right? But it's a it's big deal. It's a big deal. You guys are just sick and tired of buying against the dollar. Again, because right now it's not doing nothing. Learn how to do this, right? Chain link against Bitcoin. This is beautiful, right? We had that nice uptrend. As you can see, the squeeze fired. Now we are consolidating. Okay, trend consolidating in that squeeze. So right here, this is getting ready to pop. Chain link against Bitcoin. Getting ready to pop. If it break to the upside, chain link, you know, chain link will be looking good. But again, once it pops, it's going to take a break. And then if you can see reversal signs, there you go. You'd want to sell your chain link for more Bitcoin. Right? You don't have to be dead set on this. Crypto's not doing nothing, man. 
What's up, Justin? Justin. Yes. Oh, I got out of that trade. We got plus 20. Whenever we were doing the options class, we took a trade in class, hit our target in probably less than six minutes. Yep. Six minutes plus 20. That's some beautiful. Glad you're here, brother. Awesome stuff. Let's come back over here, take a look at the market. Market's down 19. Getting on trade. Well, that's Coinbase. Down 19. Getting kind of just chopping around. Yeah, we were day trading the S&P 500 today. Plus, I ended up getting plus 17. We took the first trade, lost three. Then we made 20. So plus 17 on the day. That's a good day. That's a good day. So S&P is still down. You know, gold hanging in there. I like the NASDAQ. You know, it's trying to trying to finish positive on the day. We still got a little bit of time. Doesn't look like Ethereum or Bitcoin is going to get positive, though. It's still They're down quite a bit, right? But again, I'm watching this pair right here. Chainlink against Bitcoin. So many ways to make money, just so y'all know, right? Yeah, and I know Jason, Mark, Justin, there's so many ways to make money with these markets. You just got to pick one or two that you like and get really good. For example, you know, I day trade the S&P 500 every day, every day. I also swing trade options every day, right? That's why I'm looking for opportunities right now on my other screen to get into some trades. Short-term trade, crypto, right? And then I also short-term invest in crypto. So anyways... Uh, XRP, we already looked at that against Ethereum. I like how we're in that squeeze. So that's going to give me an idea, right? Once that squeeze fires, that's going to give us a clue. Okay, because when we're fired, we're expecting eight to 10 bars, or in this case, three to maybe five days of energy. And then it's going to die out. And when it dies out, that's our opportunity. Okay, so it's not a dumb question at all. So the difference between day trading, Justin, and swing trading, day trading, I'm in and out the same day. Sometimes two minutes, three minutes, 30 minutes, six minutes, nine minutes, same day, no matter what. Swing trading, these trades usually last three to five days. Swing trading, I do it on the daily time frame. Now, we're talking about options. Swing trading on the options, I do it on the daily time frame. Three to five days, that's how long we're in the trade. Sometimes seven days, maybe longer, but for the most part, three to five days. Looking to catch it from support, sell it at resistance. Sell at resistance, buy back support. So day trading, same day, shit. Less than 30 minutes, tops. Swing trading, three to five days. And I swing trade options on the daily. And crypto here, I swing trade on the 30-minute chart. So hopefully that answered the question. That's a great question. Algorand and Bitcoin, I'm not even sure if we looked at that, but look at that. You see this orange dot? This bad boy is getting ready to explode. Now, this is Algorand against Bitcoin. So if you're trying to get more Bitcoin and you got Algorand, there's times where you can swap them out and you just keep it back and forth. You can get more Algorand, more bit. So if you learn how to trade the pairs, you don't have to spend any more money. Okay, but let this squeeze fire like this. Look at this. This is amazing. See, check this out. Look at this squeeze. You had a double bottom, bam, moving average crossover right there, right there. That's the time that Algorand is cheap against Bitcoin. So if you want more Algorand, you could sell your Bitcoin for Algorand right there. And then it goes up, goes up, goes into another squeeze. You can get out right there. Or you just wait. So that pop up, you could have made so much more Algorand. And then if this breaks down... 
depending on the direction, you can get more Bitcoin. Yeah, I'm not going to be teaching that here, obviously, but I'm going to be doing it every day. You keep coming back. I'm going to look at this stuff every day. How's the market doing? S&P's down 16. Trying to get out. Look at this. Trying to fight back. We did take some trades today in options. And we took, like I said, the two day trades. S&P's down 16. NASDAQ. Hey, NASDAQ looks like it's going to finish green. We'll see. Dow Jones down. No, Dow Jones down a lot. Russell 2000. Bitcoin's not going to finish positive, does it look like? Looks to me like Ondo's going to finish down the most. Tron. Tron and Doge are kind of neck and neck. So again, people tell me all the time, man, I want to buy crypto. Look, just remember this pattern, man. Trend. Consolidation. Squeeze. That's where you can buy ahead of the next big move. Trend pattern squeeze, right? The squeeze indicator is money, right? Especially with crypto. Hey, XRP, look at that, trying to go green. 54 cents. Still not doing shit. Still not doing shit. Silver's up, oil's up, gold's up. We're going to see how this S&P closes. <laughs> And again, I'm really watching Solana against Ethereum. I like Solana. So when this runs out of gas, I'm going to um, sell Solana and buy more Ethereum. Because that'll be the time to get more Ethereum. We'll see what happens. Uh, what else? Solana's up a little bit. Not... So much going on today. Again, the market, you know, kind of dragging the crypto market down. But that's why I like day trading, right? S and P five hundred. We don't care. You know, the, we made money today trading it to the downside. Right? We made money today trading it to the downside. I could care less which direction the S and P goes. Look at that. This is a three minute chart. Kind of picking up some juice. We'll be day trading again tomorrow, right? 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to be day trading. We're going to day trade for in the for members of the channel, right? And university students live. We always trade, day trade live for members and students. Always. Okay? And then... We'll see. I might do options. I mean, I'm going to do options, but we'll see what happens. S&P 500 down 13. Fighting back. But look at that. Dow Jones Industrial ugh, down 372. But look at that beautiful trend. I don't know if I'm going to see any opportunities to get into some of these trades at the end of the day. I've been, I have my watch list. Abbott, Bank of America, Carnival Cruise Line, Delta Airlines, Nordstrom. Does it look like? But I do like how the market has fought back. That is good. Maybe tomorrow we'll see some pops. But look at this. Solana might be popping out here on its way up. We're going to be doing this now. I'm going to be looking at this more with y'all every day. because, And I'm going to be doing it live. I'm going to be trading this stuff live. Again, if the crypto market against the dollar is kind of flat, you got to do something else, right? So why not trade the pairs? Learn how to do that. That way it doesn't matter. You can see green. You know, you see a lot of red, but you're like, oh, shit, it's green. I love it. Fucking green. That's good. But this bad boy, Solana's pumping. Against Ethereum. Look at that. Solana's working its way up here. So I like Solana against Ethereum and Bitcoin and even XRP. Solana's powerful today. And again, you go over here, you can see Solana's in the green against the dollar. But it is cooking. So Solana is where my energy wants to be, right? When it gets too expensive, you sell it for whatever your other coin that you like. And you flip it back. That's how you do it. How are we going to finish up? S&P 500 is going to... Oh! S&P 500 finished... It, well, it still pumps for a couple minutes. 
but it's about down 10. That's it. Dow Jones got spanked. Bitcoin is spanked. Ethereum is spanked. Gold looks good. NASDAQ looks good. So that's where we're at in this day. Make sure you join me tomorrow. Justin, we'll be back tomorrow. Day trading. Everybody else, take care. Mark, Rafa, Jason, Andy, all you winners out there, all right? Bam, market fall back. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Peace, brother.